We are in the western side of Toronto, right on beautiful Lake Ontario. The homeowners Tom and Monique love to have fun and are avid boaters. They are originally from Montreal, but they wanted to move to Toronto because two of their four children are here. So they actually ended up falling in love with this specific area. I think the marina really did it for them. This condo is 1,500 square feet. It is a two bedroom, two bath. We basically took this condo and brought it right back to the studs. Most of the interior walls were changed and we have a new envelope and I think it looks really great. We kind of clung to a little bit of a lake feel for their condo. We don't want this to feel kitschy in any sense of the word. So you'll just see little reminiscent hints of water and lake and stone. And they didn't want to keep anything out. So everything has a space and is tucked away at the end of the day. When you come down the hallway, this is the star of the home, the kitchen, the living room, and the dining room. The kitchen was its own separate entity previously. That wall came out, which means the door came out, and that really helped the space feel a little bit more open and not a maze of walking through a lot of doors, not knowing where you're going. We wanted the kitchen to flow with the rest of the space. So we picked neutral millwork. We have cream cabinetry on the sink side of the kitchen. It's a beautiful shaker style door. Below it, we have a nice white oak. And then the countertops are just a soft muted color. We're not really making a feature with the countertop. And then we brought it up the backsplash. On the stove wall, we change up the cabinetry door style. It's flat front. So we have a pantry there, we have our fridge freezer, and we have our wall ovens. So it's just a real seamless look. We usually add about three different door styles and three different colors and cabinetry materials in a kitchen, and it just gives it a layered feel. We want to give our clients as large of an island as we could. This island basically sits where the wall used to be. We repeated the cream cabinetry color on the island cabinetry. It's Natural Cream by Benjamin Moore. It's really nice and subtle. We also did a reeded detail, which the clients love. That was a hard sell. They weren't interested in the beginning, but they said to me the other day they were really happy they ended up going with this detail. On the island stools, they requested a back. We knew we wanted this to feel like a texture, so we were able to find these woven stools. They look really nice with the rest of the kitchen and in front of the island. Space planning is key in a condo. We were able to incorporate this great broom closet behind this kitchen cabinetry, and it was really great for our client. You'll see behind the sink, there's windows on the other side but this view isn't the best view. It's really just looking at the adjacent building. So we added this wall in front of the windows, and then we were able to incorporate a pantry on the other side, as well as this really nice bar seating area. Tom really doesn't like clutter, so we wanted to be able to give him a spot where he can put things away. It's this beautiful blue-gray, reminiscent of the lake. We have our toaster there, we have our coffee maker there, and it's a little bit of a departure from the kitchen, but just feels cohesive still. In her previous home in Montreal, Monique had a curio cabinet that she could put her glassware in. So we want to give her something like this in her new condo. We designed custom millwork at the end of the kitchen leading towards the back pantry area. But we didn't want it to feel too precious and too pretty. So we lined it out with black metal. It has a little bit of a contrast, but still feels pretty and a little bit traditional. This house tour is presented by Tanqueray 10. Tanqueray 10 is an ultra premium small batch gin crafted by distilling fresh limes, oranges, and grapefruit. This award winning spirit gives a smooth delivery of delicious botanicals and flavor. Tanqueray, elevating your everyday. Because the living room isn't large, we wanted to make sure we've still maximized seating for these homeowners. This sectional had to be custom because in the corner we have a 45 angle that we had to match. But the great thing about custom is we can design the height of the back, we can design the arm, we can pick the fabric, we can pick the fill and the comfort level, we can stain guard it. 
In this space, we could only do an electric fireplace. So that's fine. Electric fireplaces have actually come a long way and this one looks really great. We have the TV above it that's recessed into the wall, keeps it pared down. And then we rounded off this living space with this sculptural chair. We hung this linear pendant light that doesn't take up a lot of visual space, but feels really nice by that accent chair. Another great thing about this fireplace wall was the hidden storage. It hides all of our electronics. You'll see this beautiful piece of art in the living room. This is from downtown Montreal on a great street and Tom and Monique really love this piece. And again, that's not our lake view, so we're not really losing too much, but it adds some character and coziness. And I'm actually so happy with how that turned out. From the beginning, we knew we had to design this dining room to house as many people as possible. So we custom designed an oak table with a pedestal base. That way we can fit extra people when we need to. We want to keep the chairs low. Again, the view is everything and we want to keep your eye drawn outside. And then for the chandelier, we want to make sure it didn't come down in the space too much. It has these nice opaque glass bulbs. It's a beautiful sculptural piece, but it doesn't take away from that view. We found this amazing marble console and we love how it feels. It has these beautiful arched legs and the marble is just really stunning. We outfitted it with a simple lamp. I think it looks so good. The city nook is a bonus space for us. When we were in space planning, we saw that there was some extra room here that we could add a little bit of seating. And it really only was able to house one chair, but we were able to tuck a stool in there, a floor lamp would fit perfectly in this space. Tom and Monique wanted us to incorporate an office for them. And then they were really hoping that they could have some type of a sleeping situation when their grandkids come over. We actually took a little bit of extra space from the living room to make this office a little bit bigger. On one side, we added custom walled wall cabinetry. And then on the other side, we used a slim desk with narrow legs. We outfit it with a nice rug. But then you can see these lines in this millwork where the art is. That is actually a custom Murphy bed. Those are two single beds that fold down and it's a great space saving idea. And for those few days when the grandchildren are here, we can just move the desk over, take off that art, and it's two beautiful bunk beds for the grandkids. The primary bedroom was quite large in this condo. We ended up taking a couple feet for our kitchen. There was a little walk-in closet and walk-in closets actually take quite a bit of space in a bedroom. So we ended up taking out those walls and adding a custom millwork closet in this beautiful, rich brown color. The theory behind the bedroom was for it to be warm and intimate and just somewhere where you can relax at the end of a day. And then we did pendants that are reminiscent of a boat light. It just has that little nuance to the lake and to boating. And I love this asymmetrical feeling. This headboard might be one of my favorites. The upholstery is really textured and beautiful. It has a wood frame and it just feels really inviting. I'm really happy with how the bedroom ceiling turned out. This looks like wood, but it's actually a uni-board product. We designed this to be applied with a tiny bit of spacing between the boards. And I think it looks really great. It adds this texture. It brings the ceiling down a little bit and just feels really cozy in a bedroom. In the ensuite, we were able to fit a large vanity with two sinks, which was great. We wanted this vanity to feel a little leveled up. So we did this beautiful recessed metal detailing in the drawer fronts, and it's just something unique. The extra large mirror reflects the light a little bit, and then we added the wall sconces in front of it, and I think it adds a little bit of a sophisticated feel. Just off the main entrance, we have a beautiful powder room. We have this contemporary pedestal sink, a wood mirror above to add a little bit of warmth in there. And then we found this beautiful coal and sun cloud wallpaper. We put it on all the walls, including the new laundry room, which is adjacent to the powder room. And we even put the wallpaper on the pocket door. So when it's closed, it just envelops you and it just has a little bit of a custom feel in this powder room. When you first entered the condo, it felt a little dark. There was a long, narrow hallway and many doors leading you to the area at the back of the condo. 
So our goal was to minimize all those doors. We took out the hall closet and we did a custom millwork closet. You can customize the interior workings of the closet so it works for your lifestyle. We incorporated this textured woven console table with a shelf. We have some ottomans underneath and then of course a mirror and this beautiful light so you can see yourself and add a little ambiance. And then we came across these really cool rock sculptures. They're actually not rocks though, because that would be too heavy. So they're just wood sculptures that were shaved down to look like different shapes of rocks and they were painted. It's just a really great way to have a wall installation that's a little different than art. Tom and Monique were the loveliest clients to work with. We really had a hoot with them. It's been about a month and we've been back a few times to see them and they're so excited with how everything turned out. And it was just really fun to hear from them that they enjoyed the process. And if they could do it again, they would just relax a little bit more and enjoy the whole renovation side of things.